Hey folks, C.W. Johnson Jr. here. And this is my first video I hope to start a series of called Civil War Off the Beaten Path. Because on my journeys for my work, I've been coming across a lot of off the beaten path locations related to the war between the states, the Northern War of Northern Aggression, late unpoisonous, what have you. Well, I hear I'm at a place dedicated to Emma Sampson. Uh, the heroine of the Confederacy, if you was to say so. Uh, I was heading towards her statue in Gladstone, Alabama. Nice, cold, rainy Alabama today. And first I came across a marker down the road a ways, uh, about, I guess about maybe five miles. It's a historical marker off the side of the road, part of the Forest Strait Trail, which is basically a trail that falls that follows the highways, approximately where Farce chased straight in the April and May, spring of 1863. So I saw that marker about to cross, I think it was Wilson Creek, and uh, a lot of the powder of the Union soldiers got wet. So I stopped and looked at that one, and there's a similar marker, oh, that's a big truck. There's a similar marker for that trail across the road, which you really can't read that well, and it's pretty, um, what do you call it? Cracked up. So, uh, I would like to dedicate this series to places related to the American War between the states, Civil War, which are off the beaten path and don't get a lot of attention. And as you can probably guess, this, is, this one isn't so much off the beaten path because it's right down in town, Gladstone, Alabama, uh, 270, Highway 278 is coming right through here. So I got a lot of traffic and I hope you can hear me over it. But anyway, I'll try to speak as loud as I can and still be pleasant. Well, here we are in what is the uh, Sampson Family Cemetery. Over here we have a marker about it. Uh, there we go. So this all talks about it. Now, Emma Sampson is not buried here. She's buried in Texas. So uh, I guess all you Texan people can take pride that a famous person from Alabama history decided to go to your state. And of course, she's very famous in Alabama history. She even had a high school uh, named after her. I don't know if it's still named after her or not with all the uh, anti-Confederate memorial stuff going on, but she had a high school named after her. I'm sure she appreciated it. Uh, here's her, uh, I believe this is her father's gravestone. It's pretty substantial, you know? They want to make sure he got remembered. Over here is uh, some other gravestones dedicated to Robert Turner of Company A, 4th Calvary, uh, Tennessee Calvary, USA. So he was killed during this raid, during, I guess, a skirmish of the Battle of Black Creek. Uh, this um, cemetery does not say anything about the man that Forrest killed, who was in his own army during a duel here in Gladstone, Alabama. I guess that's a historical marker for another place. And over here, almost being covered with dirt, is another marker that gives the story of Sarah Sampson and her legendary ride. Did I get that? Yes, her legendary ride with Forrest. So, yeah. Oh, Emma Sampson. Emma Sampson. Oh, I should say sir. Emma Sampson and her uh, very legendary, very almost medieval romantic tale of her riding on the back of Paris horse to tell him where a ford is so he could cross the ford and catch up with Abel B. Straitsman and stop them from burning down Gladstone, uh, Alabama. So it's a very famous story here. Like I said, this marker is pretty cracked up and faded. They really need to replace it. You hear me, Alabama? You need to replace this marker.
now here I am in front of the lady herself, Emma Sampson, in downtown Gladstone, Alabama. Now across the road there, there's a, a little rock monument. You see it, see it right there, right there, to a John H. Wisdom, who's right between Gladstone and Rome, out Rome, Georgia, was unsurpassed in history. And fortunately, I've never heard of that ride before, or him. But it had to do with a far straight raid, and it's very obviously a very important part of local history. And uh, here it is. That's the statue of Emma Sampson. Very ornate, very beautiful. Now here's an interesting thing about these Confederate monuments. Uh, I always find it interesting that the um, social justice crowd is so against them, yet at the same time, they are so far feminism, you know, feminist studies, identity politics via women's history, and these monuments were created by the Daughters of the Confederacy, which was a woman's group. And uh, this very part of Port History, that was the way that was their way of having a say in local politics and culture. And that was where their power laid would, was with the private organizations like the Daughters of the Confederacy, the UGC. So leave me this. When you take down Confederate monuments. You're not removing history about the Civil War. You're removing history about the women's part in American history. So take that, social justice warriors.